Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to go through the step sequencer values which are located down here in Drumbo. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start with creating a new project and a tracks MIDI to CV. Let's add a simple synth. Why not? Let's use something internal like the FM operator. Let's ensure that the velocity is set to maximum and also sustain. And I have previously created a uh, tutorial. So look through the uh, playlist of tutorials for Drumbo to see how this FM operator works. Also, let's click on OneNote. And then let's create some steps like so, a simple pattern. Okay, perfect. So let's click down here for to enter the step sequence uh, values. So in here, you have a lot of different uh, selection, as you can see up here. The first one is velocity, so we can change the velocity for each step. So let's try something like that. And you hear it, of course, better when you have a lot of more steps. So let's do something uh, like so. Perfect. Let's click play. So you can hear the difference, of course, um, in terms of velocity. So when it gets to this step or this or this one or this one, the velocity is lower. So the intensity is lower. OK, perfect. So let's uh, re-establish this to the maximum value. The next one is gate, as you would expect, that is our open that note or longer it is kept. So it is the normal gate for uh, the different steps. And again, let's remove some of the steps here, something like that, and let's change the gating. So you can hear hopefully that uh, um, it is different in terms of gating. And let's make this one very short. So you can hear that the gate for this first step and the third one is kept open for a very short period of time. Okay, so next, let's look at the offset and let's reset these more or less something like that. The next one is the offset. So that allows you to create an offset in the step that you set it. So let's say this one on the first step, we create an offset and it's practically a delay. Let's listen. So it creates an offset when the note is being played. Okay, and it can be useful to create the right rhythm, of course. Next, we have probability, which you can see is set to maximum for all of them. But of course, for example, let's set this to around 50%. Let's click play. So in this case, you have roughly 50% of the probability of this step being played, okay? So in some cases, it will play. In other cases, it will not play. And this is uh, uh, helpful in terms of actually creating a little bit of variety in your rhythm. Next, we have re-triggering, which is quite nice because here you set, um, you know, you click, hold, and move up, and you reset the number of times that that note will re-trigger, the step will re-trigger. Let's click play. So it's really nice, isn't it? Next, we have cycle. And this is quite nice because it allows you to set if a step is played based on the different cycle. And the way that it works is very simple. You establish you establish how many cycle, and then you say it plays on this one and at the beginning. So let's listen. So it doesn't play the first time, and it plays the second time. So let's go up and buy another step here, and let's select these again. So it will not play the first time. We'll play twice then for two cycles, and then it will not, and then it will repeat, starting with not playing. Okay, so hopefully that is self-explanatory. And next, uh, uh, and finally, we have the components, the step components. And this is where you can add the step yourself, or you can also select a previous step and see what that has. So for example, let's say velocity on this step, we set it like so. 
We change the gate as well to almost the maximum. We add a bit of set. We just say we have a retriggering of three. So now let's go into the step components here. Let's select this step here. And you can see there is a velocity set here. There is a gate minimum. The offset has been set. And then we have three retriggering. And of course, you can click on the plus sign and add the other step components as you see fit. Please go back to one of my previous tutorials. I believe it is tutorial number 12, which shows you how to use the different step components. And you find that in the Drumble series of tutorials. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed and I see you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.